Welcome back to the Thursday evening Cowboy Fashion Report. This evening I've got on another smoking hot pearl snap shirt. No pearl snaps. This has a Sandia pepper base with just a touch of magnolia accents. Well, any of you who've been following me know that I punch cows most of my life and got to work on some of them old big outfits from Montana to Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, a few other places. And, and I want to say right off the bat, I was the farthest thing from ever being a good bronc rider. Never could ride a pitching horse very good. And I think my good friend Kenneth Finch had even told some people I might be the worst bronc rider he's ever seen try to get on a pitching horse. But anyway, and when I was little, I was so bad that I wouldn't even ride my stick horse through mud puddles because I was scared I'd fall off. But I usually tried to make a day on whatever they cut me. And and if I got bucked off, I usually got back on. But uh, when you got some old big outfits, you know, they cut you anywhere from six to eight, ten head horses. And generally, they done it one at a time of a morning or evening when they was catching horses while they'd lead you one out. This is old Sarge, or this is old roller skates, and you had to remember their names for one thing, and if they said anything after they told you that horse's name, that's when you wanted to pay attention. Because them old wagon bosses, most of them back in, they didn't say a whole lot, and when they did say something, you damn sure listened, and I've reiterated that before. But they weren't going to tell you this is a bad, man-hating, kicking, pawing, pitching son of a pooch. They wouldn't say stuff like that. They might lead him out there and say, might want to watch him. So I want to go over some of these other little cliches that they might subtly throw in there after they tell you you're a Muda Mouse name. This one's just a little ouchy. You might want to sweat this one a little bit before you try to shoot him. This is old shotgun. Sometimes he lopes a little high. Yeah, boy, you might want to double check your parachute before you get on this one. He's a little snorty. He'll do to watch. Yeah, I believe he's 10 past, but he seems to get along better than a ring snuffle. Yeah, boy, this one might pull a knife on you. Now, if you can help it, you probably don't want to get in a wreck on this one. Yeah, boy, have you checked your saddle for leaks lately? So if any young fellas get a chance to work on some of them throwback outfits and hopefully there's still some fellas around running some of them places that that talk like it, well, it sure pays to pay attention after they tell you the horse's name at the ropes. Y'all keep snapping. I'll see you next week.